The best part of sales is meeting with prospects, resolving their concerns, and helping them buy your product. It's magical. What's a lot less magical is the follow-up and coordination of meetings that comes afterward. Let's explore some automation tools that can take that admin work off your plate. My name's Kyle, and this is How to HubSpot. HubSpot has several different tools you can use to automate your sales process. The three we're talking about today are templates, sequences, and workflows. If you'd like to follow along as I'm talking, click the link in the description. Here's the scenario. You just finished sending an email to a prospect who had a specific question about one of your products. You move on to the next email in your inbox, and it's from another prospect who has the same question about the same product. What do you do? Do you write the whole email again from scratch? That would take a lot of time. Do you find the email you just sent and copy paste it? That seems dangerous. What if you get the prospect's name wrong or reference a conversation they weren't a part of? This is a common problem salespeople face and it means a lot of administrative work in your email communication. One thing that can help a lot is an email template. An email template is the smallest, simplest form of sales automation. Put simply, it's a standardized email that pulls in information from your CRM records. The bulk of the email's body stays the same, but it changes dynamically for each person you're sending it to, so it can have things like their name, their company, and recent conversation information. Let's take a look. Here we are on the templates page inside of HubSpot. You get here by clicking the library menu item and selecting templates from the list. If you've already created some email templates, you'll see them listed here. I'm gonna click on this one to open one I've been working on recently. Up here at the top, you see the name of this template. Your prospects are never gonna see this name. This is solely for you to know what this should be used for. This one is one I use to re-engage a prospect that's gone cold. Next is the subject line. This is just like any other subject line in an email. You can make it dynamic with personalization tokens, or you can have a static one like I do here. Finally, you have the body of the email. Most of this is static text, but these color-coded bits are personalization tokens that will pull in information from CRM records. So up here, I'm pulling in the contact's first name. Over here, I'm grabbing their company name. And down here, I'm putting in a bunch of information from me as the sender, my full name, my email, my phone number, and my meeting link in case they want to book time with me. You can also put in placeholder tokens, which won't automatically be populated, but will remind you to add information that's relevant to this prospect. Let's see what email templates look like in action. Here I am on a contact record. You get here by clicking the CRM navigation item and selecting contacts. And then you can click this email button to compose an email. In here, there's a templates button where you can pull in one of your templates. I'll select the one we were just working on. And notice it pulled in all the text we had written. It added the prospect's name and their company name and all of my information. I'll just fill in this quick placeholder. and then I can hit send and move on to my next task. That's the first level of sales automation inside of HubSpot. If you wanna to move to the next level, you'll wanna use sequences. A sequence is essentially a collection of email templates that are distributed at a set cadence. So maybe you want one email to go out today and another one a couple days from now and one next week. You can also include tasks inside of your sequences. So if you wanna do more than just send emails, make calls or update records, you can include all of that in one automated flow. Let's take a look. Here we are on the sequences page inside of HubSpot. You get here by clicking the automations menu item and then selecting sequences. Once again, if you've created any sequences, you'll be able to select them here. But for this example, let's create a new sequence from scratch. For this example, we'll select start from scratch and create sequence. Here's the canvas where you're going to build your sequence. Here in step one, you can see all the options available to you. For this one, let's start with an automated email. We'll select an email template, and this will be sent automatically as soon as we enroll someone in the sequence. You can add another step. We'll select another automated email. You can choose whether this is gonna be a reply to the first one or start a new thread. And once again, you'll select an email template to go in this sequence. You can choose what sort of delay you want, how many days you wanna wait before sending this. And you can even add A-B tests if you want to test different templates over time. As you keep adding steps, you can build up to five automated emails to go out in this sequence. You can also add tasks to remind you to do other things as part of your outreach. That's one way to build an email sequence inside of HubSpot, where the emails are fully automated from top to bottom. Another way is to use email tasks. Let's take a look at that. So here I am back on the sequences canvas, but this time, instead of selecting automated email, I'm going to select manual email task. What this will do is on the appointed day, it will assign a task to me to send an email. And I can add an email template here again so that it'll be automatically populated in the pane. 
and I can add it to my sequence. Now you might be wondering, why would I wanna do that? I thought the point was to automate the emails, not give myself more tasks to do. But the important thing here is to think about when you want to personalize these emails. If you make a fully automated email sequence, you will need to personalize all those emails upfront before you schedule them out. That can work great if you're following up with someone who missed a meeting, or if you're making contact with someone that you just met at a trade show. But for almost every other situation, you're going to want to use tasks because then you can personalize the emails in the moment. As your relationship with this contact evolves, as new information comes up, you can always make sure you're able to add that to the emails before they get sent. So if you want to include information, you're now talking to another person at the company or a new product has launched, you can make sure all of that is in there before the email goes out. Templates and sequences are great for sales outreach. They keep the sales rep in the driver's seat, able to personalize and control the communication that's going out. But some sales tasks are so purely administrative, there's no need to involve the rep at all. And for those, you're going to want to use workflows. Workflows are HubSpot's core automation engine. You can automate almost anything inside of HubSpot using a workflow. If you want to use automation to create or delete records, update associations or properties, assign tasks, or send mass communications, Workflows is the tool for you. Let's take a look. This is the Workflows page inside of HubSpot. To get here, you'll once again go to Automations, but this time select Workflows instead of Sequences. You can see any workflows your team has created here, and if you want to create a new one, come to the top right corner and click Create Workflow. There are templates you can use to get started, but for this example, let's go from scratch. When you create a workflow, you need to select the type of object you'll be automating. For this example, let's stick with contact-based and select Next. This is the canvas where you'll build your workflow. Every workflow has two main parts, the enrollment triggers and the actions. Enrollment triggers define when this automation will begin, and there are a few different ways you can select them. For this example, let's select an event. An event can be a lot of different things, such as a record being created or a form being submitted. For sales, form submissions can be really useful, especially if you have a contact sales form. Let's use that as our example. So I'll select form submission, and then I'll add criteria for the form name. I have a contact sales form I'll select from this list, and I'll select done and save. Now, Anytime a contact submits our contact sales form, this automation is going to begin. Let's say we want to assign this person to a sales rep. We have a rotate action that can assign the record to an owner. You can select a specific owner, or you can assign it to a team, and the records will be divvied out evenly. We can save that action. Now let's add another action. We'll click this plus button. Let's say after the record is assigned to an owner, we want to assign that owner a task to remind them to reach out. So we'll search for the task action, select it. We'll give this task a name. And we can come down and choose who it will be assigned to. We'll say the existing owner. We can then save this action and continue on. This example just barely scratches the surface of what you can automate with workflows inside of HubSpot. If you have sales teams assigned to different geographic territories, you can use branching logic to route those form submissions to the appropriate place. Or if you want to get really fancy, you can combine different layers of automation by using a workflow action to enroll a contact in a sequence. So that's a quick overview of sales automation inside HubSpot. If you want to save yourself time writing sales emails, create an email template. If you want to save time in your outreach, create a sequence. And if there's a lot of behind the scenes administrative work that can be automated, try out workflows. And if you want to get really fancy, remember everything in HubSpot is interconnected and you can combine these things together. If you want to give these tools a try, click the link in the description below. I'm Kyle, this is How to HubSpot. See you next time.